tree. But I love life. Life is so good. And these are four habits that are completely killing your brain. And there is a high chance that you are definitely doing every single one of these. So watch to the end of the video because this could help you change your life. I used to wake up, right, la lazy morning, late, un unenergetic, just sort of depressing, lazy morning, didn't feel great. I'd go throughout my day with almost no energy or motivation to complete and finish that day. So I was always looking forward to the end of the day where I would go out, party, drink, and I'd, I sort of would go to bed and then wake up and repeat. I had such a terrible life. I felt terrible all the time, and I wondered why. Why was it that my brain felt like this? That I felt like this? I couldn't define that why. And then I did. I genuinely sat down and thought, okay, what the fuck am I doing that's messing with my head? And these are the four things. Your phone in the morning. Grabbing your phone first thing in the morning is literally the gateway, the highway to killing your brain. If you think about it, you literally go to bed with your phone and then you wake up and grab your phone. You aren't giving your brain any second to breathe. That the moment you get up, your brain is focusing on this phone. All of this super short content stimulating stuff that is absolutely frying your dopamine receptors and making your attention span way shorter than it should be. The moment you wake up, all I want you to do all I simply want you to do is don't use your phone an hour when you but when you wake up and an hour before you go to sleep. An hour after you wake up, just don't grab your phone, don't sleep with your phone, put it in another room or put it on the opposite side of your room. If you do this for literally two days, uh, just two days, right, you will instantly start to see that your brain is starting to think better. It's actually able to breathe. And then try it for two weeks and see how much better you feel then eating whatever you want. Look, I used to be the kind of person who would eat junk food all the time. I would binge snacks all the time as I binge watch series because I had a high metabolism. I could, and I didn't look bad. But I didn't realize it. Your body is so unbelievably important. Your body is like a house for your brain, right? It is. Your body is the house of your brain. Now, every time you eat junk food, every time you give in, right, and you start eating really sugary stuff, it's like damaging this house. Whether it be the lights are slightly dimmed, or the windows smashed, or things start crumbling apart. Every time you eat junk food, it damages this house. Every time you don't, and you cook your own meals, and you simply just eat healthy, balanced diets that's not processed, it's like you're upgrading this house. You're getting better windows. You're getting a nicer door. Oh, you're adding a TV in the living room. Oh, those, those furniture, those chairs are hella nice. It's every time that you don't give in, you have the strength to resist, and you eat better foods, you're upgrading your house. Look, you may not remember what you ate five minutes ago, but your body will. And you know this because... Think of a day where you've eaten just pizza, right? Pizza, junk food... Do you think you're going to have high energy to work and be super productive? Probably not. Every time I have like a Domino's pizza, and because I'm a fat ass, I'll get like a large Domino's meteor pizza, eat it all to myself in fucking 10 minutes, and then I'll be like in a food coma really lazy for the rest of the day. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> but if I get up, I actually put in the effort to cook my own meals with stuff that isn't processed. I actually buy chicken, I actually go get carrots, I get potatoes, I make myself a proper meal. None of this has been super processed, like those ready meals that you can get, which are done in a minute. All of it is just me cooking my own meal, which is cheaper and also way more healthy. I feel so much more energized and healthy. I feel it within my day, I feel like I can actually have the energy to start off my day. But that's also not that surprising, is it? Your body is so important because what your body is like will affect your mind, and what your mind is like affects your body. If you are completely fat or, and eating junk food all the time, your mind feels like shit because that's what I did. Every time I used the advantage of my metabolism, ate junk food all the time, I felt terrible. 
Reading books. I used to hate reading books. I remember I was six years old. No, 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 not six. That's way too young. Um, I was like 10, like 10 years old, right? And me and my mum, we just moved into our... Me and my mum and my sister, we just moved into our second house. And uh, my mum was... I, I love it a bit, but she was kind of strict. And uh, she would make me read books and I'd like, get into piano. Typical Asian parent, right? And, uh, you know, I was good at it. I loved piano, right? Well, actually, no, I didn't. I fucking hated it. But then I grew to love it. But books, reading. To even go on my phone, I had to read, like, a couple of pages. And then I would have to recite to my mum. So this is what happened in this part of the story. And this is what happened in this part of the story. Uh, and then my mum would literally read the book and check. Like, if I was just waffling. And, uh, I hated it. I hated it to the point where, like, I ripped all the pages out of my book. Well, tried to, I couldn't. I was a twindly arm weak little dude. So I couldn't, but I would, like, throw my book across the room and be like, Ah, I hate you. Nah. Like, <laughs> like, god damn. I, I remember it so clearly as well. Uh, and I hated reading. Every book you read, every book you start to read, every word you see in that book is literally a sentence of another person's life. Every book you read is literally a story, the experiences of another person. Reading books is literally a cheat code to life. If you think about it, think about the guy who only reads like five pages a day compared to the guy who doesn't read any books, any pages. The guy who's reading five pages a day, he's reading about business, your next five moods, nuclear effect, He's also reading about how to improve your mental health, how to get into better habits, atomic habits, where the superior man. He's reading all these books. Yeah, he's only reading five pages a day, but in a year's time, he would have read over... I don't know the mass. Yeah. Oh my god, my mom would be so disappointed in me. Sean, why are you, why are you using calculator? The fuck is wrong with you? So you would have read over 1,825 pages in a year from reading just five pages a day. You would know over a hundred things about the things you read. The other guy, he didn't read five pages a day. That's not a lot, but he didn't do it. Because, you know, what's the point? He knows nothing. Books are literally a cheat code to life. Your brain, it's literally... I don't know why you wouldn't. It's like a... It's, just like, a, it's like taking creatine at the gym. Creatine is natural and helps you grow muscle quicker. Why wouldn't you use it? Wanting your dream body without going to the gym. How on earth are you expecting this? How on earth do you expect to have your dream body, a lean body, a muscular body, an attractive physical appearance to the opposite sex? That's why most guys go to the gym for the first reason, right? It's just to be more attractive and then you kind of fall in love with it. But uh, how on earth do you think you're going to get that body of your dreams if you don't even exercise at all? Any exercise you don't do anything. It doesn't have to be all week, but just start. Start morning runs. Start going to the gym, even if it's only two times this week. Two times this week. 30 minutes. Just go. Start. Because in a year's time, even if you go with the shittiest 20-minute workouts for like three days a week, right? In a year's time, you will look like a brand new different person. You may not be at, like, the level of, like, bodybuilders, right? Because they go, like, insanely. And they know what they're doing. But you will look like a completely damn brand new, different person to what you are right now. You will have muscles. You will have a lean body. You will look attractive. I don't know why you expect that, like, you to have a beautiful looking body if you don't do any exercise. And what your body is reflects your mind. And what your mind reflects your body. It's like yin and yang. They're both unbelievably important. Like I mentioned earlier, when I was eating absolute terrible food, I, my mind felt terrible, had no energy. But when I was eating good food, my mind felt like it had energy, it felt good. And it's the same thing when you actually start working out, any sort of exercise, whether it be runs, whether it be going to the gym, anything, your body reflects your mind. You, your mind starts to feel better because you're doing something, anything. Just start. Trust me, in two weeks, you will see a difference, not only physically, but mentally. Mentally, you will see a huge difference. I really do hope that this video has helped you out. It's just me talking about my own experiences of my life. And so I really do this is I really do hope this has helped out. And if you want to make a start, you want to make a change to improve your life, but you simply don't know how, this could be it. This channel, this community, I 
will do everything that I can to give you the resources to start. From my experiences, from my mistakes, everything, so you can start your own journey. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Oh, man. That tree is huge, by the way. That, like, like, I don't know if like this pales in comparison, but I'm like a decent couple hundred meters away from that tree. Like a, like a decent like couple hundred meters. I'm a far away from that tree. You're fucking big. Yeah, bro. Nah, bro, that's average size. <laughs> Alright, come here, self-improving.